Welcome to Otterbein College in Westerville, Ohio, a suburb of Columbus. If you come back next fall, there won't be an Otterbein College. That's because we're changing our name to Otterbein University, which is what it first was in 1847, when our school first opened. We have almost 3,000 undergrads, and we compete at the NCAA Division III level. Dick Reynolds has coached our basketball team for 37 years, and in 2002, led our Cardinals to a national championship. We're here today to talk about one of our baseball players who's connecting not only on the field, but also in the classroom. He's an academic All-American with a 3.8 GPA as a communications major and hopes someday to broadcast baseball games. That is, if he's not playing in them. That baseball playing radio and TV talking guy is, well, he's me. Looking at the website and some of the other publications, it looks like you have a lot of home run records here at uh, Otterbein. Could you tell me about them and please don't be modest. Well, uh, some of the records at Otterbein I hold, I hold the single season record for home runs in a season, which is 18 and uh, I currently hold the career record, which is 44. Brian, I know you're a modest guy, but I know there is one record you forgot to tell me about. Would you like to elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, there was, there was one record I forgot to talk about, and it was uh, consecutive home runs in, uh, in games. I, I had a home run in uh, eight straight games last year, uh, and I really, when I was playing, I really didn't know it, know it happened. Uh, I was just you know, told after I hit my seven, that you know you're you're really close to breaking a record and setting one in the process. And you know when I hit the eighth one, I knew I had the record, and um, you know it was something fun. Do you look to hit a home run when you come up to the plate? I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't try to hit a home run every time, even though that's probably not what my coach wants to hear. Brian, would you really lie to me? No, no, Brian, I wouldn't lie to you. Why do you think you're so good at hitting home runs? I really don't know why I hit home runs. I mean, I've seen a lot of. I'm a bigger guy, so naturally I'm a little bit stronger. But I've seen a lot of other big guys who really can't hit the ball. Over 44 career home runs, and you have no idea how you do it. Hey, man, just you got to go easy on me on this one. I think it comes back to I have pretty good hand-eye coordination. My eyes are pretty good. I can see pitches very well. I think he thinks the game. Uh, he's usually a pitch ahead, and I think he's one of the guys that um, you know we preach learn from at bat to at bat. He's one of the guys that I think does. Get some high, very far. If you get a chance to watch him play, he squares up the ball better than anyone I've ever seen. And uh, when he does, uh, the ball travels very far. What made you decide on going into TV and radio? When I was younger, I always just found myself, you know, watching TV and listening to the radio to different sports events. And, uh, you know, sometimes even on TV, or if I was playing a video game, a uh, sports video game, I'd turn the volume down and uh, I'd broadcast the game like, uh, like I was, you know, Dick Vitale or something. It seemed like a lot of fun just being around sports and you know, talking about it, coming up with cool catchphrases. It's, it's something that it's uh, kind of creative and it's something that I really wanted to do. How would Dickie V call Brian Hiscox's home run? Oh, he got all that one, baby. That one's out of here. Super scintillating sensational. Uh, what did it mean to you when you were selected as a first team academic All-American? To be an academic All-American, it meant a lot to me. Um, you know, growing up, my parents always said, you know, school first and sports second. That's kind of a mentality I've taken uh, because, you know, coming out of a Division III school, uh, playing professional sports is, you know, a dream of everybody, but a reality for just a few. And, uh, you know, so definitely I'm working toward an academics just as hard as I am athletically. Do you think you have any chance at all to play at the next level? Baseball after college, I hope, is a reality for me, if not you know, right out of the gate into Major League Baseball and the minor leagues right there, maybe a, like a Frontier League or an independent league, you know, just to get my name out there. I definitely want to play as long as I can because uh, I told my dad this, I'll put off getting a real job as long as I can. What do you love about the game of baseball? The things I love about baseball is it's a individual kind of competition with a team concept. I like having, you know, that, that pressure on me whenever I go to the plate or you know, if a ground ball or something hit to me in the field, I like knowing that you know what I do with this ground ball is going to have an effect on the outcome of the game. Brian, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to sit down with me today. Uh, you're one of my favorite collegiate baseball players, and I have nothing but uh, good wishes for you in the future. Well, I'll remember this forever as one of the best opportunities in my life. Thanks to NCAA on campus for visiting Otterbein and for allowing me to audition for my dream job working for CBS College Sports. On campus, we'll be right back.